last hack that Jody and I went on, there was a tree down across our usual route, so we had to take an alternate route across a bridge. Unfortunately, it was a metal bridge which has never been across before, so I didn't know what sort of reaction we were going to get. So here she goes. Not entirely keen on going across that, but she was a good girl. Good girl. The next part of the journey, the route was blocked ahead, so we had to take an alternate route up to the left, which took us through confined spaces. Under low branches. And on the right hand side, there were a fair few scary objects. Notice on the left hand side, there's a bit of a drop off as well, so uh, the only support that we've got is a metal fence on our right hand side yeah it does get very narrow uh, both stirrups uh, touch the sides of the uh, the alleyway uh, which you'll see an example of in a, in a second I know what reaction I'll get out of Jody. Uh, the reason being is because we've done a lot of narrow spaces, scary objects, overhanging branches uh, as part of our trek training. So she is familiar with the, the obstacle, in this case obstacles. Um, but this is a practical application which was uh, un unplanned, if you like. So uh, it was a good test that the, the trek training uh, is having an effect on how she reacts to things. She relaxes at this point anyway because where, where we come out is part of our usual hack route anyway. And I think she's done a fantastic job. Good. 